Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. Two quarter circles and a semicircle. What's the shaded area? But before we go to the solution, may I request you to please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay. So first thing that we have to do is we need to label the lens of this video. So if we label the radius of this bigger quarter circle as capital R and this as small letter R the smaller quarter circle and this distance of the semicircle should be R minus R and this radius should be R minus R over okay. okay so next is we Write a formula for the area of this figure. So, area is equal to pi times r square over 4 for the area of the larger quarter circle. Then you have to add the area of the smaller quarter circle, and that is pi times r square over 4. Then you need to Subtract the area of the semicircle and that is pi times r minus r all over 2. Then you need to square this since this is the radius divided by 2 because it is a semicircle only. So next is we copy the first two terms. Then we need to simplify the third term and that would be minus pi times since this we will square the numerator then there would this would be four so and divide it by two so it would be eight and we will be squaring this r minus r. Next is we factor out pi over 8. Then inside remains 2r square. Then plus 2r square. Then since we factored out pi over 8, then this remains r minus r square. Okay, so next is we square this r minus r square. So we have parentheses r square, then negative 2r r, then plus r square. Okay, so next is we distribute the negative sign. So we have negative r square plus 2r r then minus r square okay so next is we simplify the terms inside the parentheses so if we combine these like terms then we have 2r square minus r square then that would be r square and if we combine these two terms then we have actually positive r square. Then this remains the same, 2rr. R. R, R. Okay, so next is we notice that the terms inside the parentheses is actually the square of a binomial. And that binomial is r plus r square and since we know that r plus r is equal to 12 then we simply substitute here 12 then area is equal to pi over 8 times 12 square and that is equal to pi over 8 times 144 
144 divided by 8 is actually 18. So, the final answer would be area is equal to 18 pi square units. And this is our answer for the first method. Okay. So, next thing that we need to do is we need to use the invariance principle. So, for the invariance principle, if we draw a larger semicircle, then this would eventually shrink to a corresponding smaller quarter circle. And if we draw this semicircle to be as large as the radius of this quarter circle, its diameter, then it would shrink the smaller quarter circle to zero. So, so this would be the resulting figure. You will see that the r is equal to 12, the bigger r, but the smaller r is equal to zero. It is still the same or invariant because we, for every change in the radius of the semicircle, there is also a change, which is the decrease of the smaller quarter circle. And in this case, we increase the radius of the quarter circle to a maximum and thereby putting the uh, radius of the smaller quarter circle to zero and the area should still be the same. Okay, so now that we are given that the bigger r is equal to 12 and the smaller r or the radius of the smaller quarter circle is zero, then we now write the formula for the area and that is pi times r square all over 4. Then you need to subtract the area of this bigger or semicircle. Then that would be pi times r over 2. But you need to square this but divided by 2 because this is a semicircle because this is actually r over 2 for the radius. So area is equal to pi over 4 r square minus pi times r square over 4. But you need to divide again by 2, so divided by 8. So in this case, we can factor out again pi over 8. Then this would become 2r square minus r square. Then simplifying the terms inside the parentheses of a is equal to pi over 8 times 2r square minus r square is equal to r square. Then we know that r is actually 12. So we have pi over 8 times 12 square. And this becomes 144. Then 144 divided by 8 is equal to 18 pi square units. And that is our answer. Okay, so for the next method is we are again to use the invariance principle. But in this case, we are going to maximize the uh, smaller quarter circle on the left side of the figure and we need to minimize the unshaded semicircle. And if you try to do that, then this will be the resulting figure. Then we have a semicircle. The quarter circle is increased 
up to the radius of the quarter circle on the left but since the unshaded semicircle is minimized to zero then you cannot see it anymore okay and now is we find the area of this figure area is equal to pi d square on the diameter right by four but you need to multiply this by one half because it is a semicircle and now area is equal to pi d square over a so area is equal to pi times 12 square over a so area is equal to pi times 144 over 8 and this will become 18 again so area is equal to 18 by square units and that is our answer same answer for the first and the second method thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.